Welcome to the Women's Empowerment Draft. We draft Lady Deborah Moody. With the first pick, we draft Lady Deborah Moody. Namesake of Brooklyn's PS212 Lady Deborah Moody School. Before New York was New York, Lady Deborah Moody was making history. She is believed to be the first woman to start a settlement in the New World. In 1643, she founded and funded Gravesend in New Netherland, present day Brooklyn. She offered settlers greater religious freedom than most English towns. While this was an early settlement, each new claim to property diminished the land and lifestyle of the indigenous Lenape people. CCNY drafts Sojourner Truth. Namesake of PS149, Sojourner Truth School. Sojourner Truth is remembered as a former slave that later became a powerful abolitionist force. After years of abuse and ownership, she spent her years traveling and preaching for freedom for others. So Truth court case for her son's freedom became a landmark victory in helping other slaves win freedom. At 1851's National Women's Convention, she addressed the full delegation. It is still debated whether or not she used her famous Ain't I a Woman refrain. With the third pick, we draft Anna Marie Douglas, namesake of Rochester School 12, Anna Marie Douglas Academy. We draft Anna Marie Douglas. Anna Marie Douglas was a person born free on March 8, 1813. She was a hard worker and understood the importance of being organized and doing chores. She helped disguise and fund the escape of an enslaved man who would become her husband, Frederick Douglass. From their home, Anna ran a safe stop on the Underground Railroad and managed all the finances for her husband's travels, which often lasted for years at a time. Anna Marie Douglas was a very interesting and important person. She was confident. She had recognized women who changed the world just like Anna Marie Douglas. We draft Harriet Tubman, 1822 through 1913. Namesake of Harlem CS-154. Like her many namesake schools, Harriet Tubman's impact is widespread. Journeying across southern borders, she helped slaves escape to the northern states. She was called both the conductor of the Underground Railroad and the most suffered people. She serves as a scout, soldier, and nurse for the Union Army during the Civil War. I would make a home for them in the North, and the Lord helped me. I would bring them all here, she said of her Albert, New York home. With the fifth pick, we draft Sarah Smith Garnett, 1831 to 1911, namesake of Brooklyn's PS9 Sarah Smith Garnett School. We draft Sarah Smith Garnett. Sarah Smith Garnett was a mighty force for education and equal rights in Brooklyn and beyond. As an educator, she began teaching at the age of 14, became the first African-American principal in New York City. She was a principal for 37 years. Think how many children's lives she's touched in that time. She also founded the Equal Suffrage Club, which met just blocks from PS9 and was influential in getting voting rights for women. She led the suffrage department of the National Association of Colored Women, which was used as a model for other black institutions and clubs of the time. Though her amazing and rich life, she advocated against racial discrimination and for the right to vote. With the sixth pick, we draft Dr. Susan S. McKinney, 1847 to 1918. Namesake of Brooklyn, Dr. Susan S. McKinney, Secondary School of the Arts. Dr. Susan Smith McKinney Stewart was the first African-American female in New York to graduate with a medical do doctorate. She practiced medicine for 48 years with her own private practice in Brooklyn and co-founded the Brooklyn Women's Homeopathic Hospital and Dispensary, which served the African community. She traveled the country and to England advocating for access for all women in the fields of medicine. The Women's Empowerment Draft honors 31 women for the 31 days of March. We're using the passion surrounding sports to engage the public. This year we have an amazing army of people celebrating. It's important that we don't forget their legacy. This was a New York State initiative featuring 25 New York State colleges come together to sponsor 31 K-12 schools, 29 of which were named after these impressive women. SUNY Poly honors Arya S. Huntington. We draft Arya S. Huntington. Namesake of Syracuse, CSD's Arya Huntington Pre-K to 8 School. Huntington was the first woman elected to the public office in Syracuse. Where she served as school commissioner for the city from 1897 to 1903. Her nomination caused promotion because of her gender. She was also concerned for disadvantaged women and founded the Shelter for the Homeless Girls Club. 
and the Working Girls Club. She helped pass some of the first child labor laws in New York State and was on the board of the Shelter for Unprotected Girls. Adirondack Community College honors Emma Lazarus. We draft Emma Lazarus. 1849 to 1887. Namesake of Manhattan's Emma Lawson's High School and Brooklyn's PS 268 Pre-K through fifth grade. Lazarus was best known for her poem, The New Colossus, submitted as part of a fundraiser for the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty and cast onto a plaque in the inner pedestal. The most famous lines often quoted, Give me your tired, your poor, your heart of masses, Yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shores. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Cortland honors Belle Sherman. We draft Belle, Belle Sherman. Sherman. Namesake of Ithaca's Belle Sherman Elementary. After receiving a degree from Lumber University in Illinois, Sherman moved to Ithaca to study at Cornell. She took a position at Ithaca High School where she taught science and history for 33 years. As an unmarried woman with a modest salary, she impressively moved her parents from Illinois to Ithaca, purchased their Ithaca home, and still donated significant money to establish a city fund to help with medical costs for other local teachers. We draft Alice Austin, namesake of Staten Island PS60 Alice Austin School, my school. Born on Staten Island, Austin was a prolific artist, taking thousands of photographs of New York City life, ranging from immigrant experiences to Victorian socialites. Female photographers were not often outdoor traveling artists due to the weight of transporting heavy cameras and the risk of venturing out. Alice's work and life were fearless as she defied gender expectations with both her subject matter and her 50 plus year relationship with partner Gertrude Tate. SUNY Broadcourt honors Mary McLeod Bethune, 1875 to 1955, namesake of Rochester School 45. Mary McLeod Bethune's passion for learning only exceeded by her desire for young black girls to be granted access to quality education. She created a college in Florida and led both state and national women's equality organizations. Soon, she was advising U.S. Presidents Hoover and Roosevelt before being appointed to FDR staff. She dubbed herself the leader of the Black Cabinet, condemning lynchings, creating the United Negro College Fund, and setting a foundation for the Civil Rights Movement. Dutchess Community College honors Eleanor Roosevelt. With the 12th pick, we draft Eleanor Roosevelt, namesake of Manhattan's Eleanor Roosevelt High School. As the first lady to the U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Eleanor was the first to conduct her own press conferences, often addressing the country's poverty and racial discrimination. During World War II, she traveled abroad to visit U.S. troops. After FDR's death, she was appointed to the United Nations General Assembly and served as chair of the Human Rights Commission co-drafting the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted in 1948. Alfred University has designed jerseys as well as cards, and we've produced over 600 jerseys and over 3,000 trading cards for schools to help build advocacy for women's rights and women's empowerment. SUNY Geneseo honors Harriet Bentley. We draft Harriet Bentley, abbreviated namesake of Rochester's Harley School. Harriet Brentley prioritized her children's education and welfare above all else. She researched Maria Montessori's teaching philosophy and co-founded the Children's University School of Rochester in 1917. She served as the first chair of the school boards comprised of women. In 1918, the Spanish flu devastated the country. A pregnant Harriet cared for her ill 11-year-old daughter but contracted the flu herself. She gave birth to the baby Martha on December 4th but Harriet died three days later. Alfred University honors Margaret Mead, namesake of Brooklyn's PS 209, Margaret Mead School. We draft Margaret Mead. Mead was an anthropologist, a person that studies how humans develop within communities and society. Her theory of imprinting predicted how children learn by watching adult behavior and how motherhood may serve to reinforce male and female roles in society. She also publicly commented on many societal issues, such as women's rights, nuclear weapons, civil rights, 
environmental pollution, and world hunger. SUNY Old Westbury honors Rosa Parks. We draft Rosa Parks, namesake of Queens PS 254Q in Jamaica, New York. Rosa Parks' refusal to give up her seat on an Alabama bus in 1955 was a needed spark for Montgomery's NAACP chapter to stage a planned one-day bus boycott. It was such a success that it was continued until the buses were illegally desegregated. A bus boycott lasting over a year. Earlier that year, Claudette Colvin, a pregnant 15-year-old, was arrested for the same defiance, but she did not have the same stature or connections to garner NAACP support for such a boycott. Finger Lakes Community College honors Fannie Lou Hammer. We draw Fannie Lou Hammer, namesake of Bronx Fannie Lou Hammer Freedom High School. Fannie Lou was a powerful force for political equality in Mississippi. She lost her sharecropping job for attempting to vote. She helped organize the 1964 Freedom Summer Voter Drive that was met with violence. She protested the all-white Mississippi delegation at a 1964 Democratic National Convention and tried to put her name on the ballot. By 1968, she turned to economic empowerment, establishing housing and farming support for the Black community. With the 17th pick, we draft Dr. Rosalind Yellow, namesake of Bronx's Rosalind Yellow Charter School. The world cannot afford the loss of the talents of half of its people if we are to solve the many problems which beset us, said Rosalind Yellow, the first physics major to graduate from NYC's Hunter College. Later, Dr. Yellow and her colleague, Dr. Burson, developed radioimmunacy, a technique that precisely detects hormones, viruses, drugs, vitamins, proteins, and enzymes in the body, improving disease screenings. For this, they won the Nobel Prize in Medicine. Erie Community College honors Dr. Antonia Patagé. With the 18th pick, we draft Dr. Antonia Pantoja, 1922 to 2002. Namesake of Buffalo's PS18, Dr. Antonia Pantoja Community School of Academic Excellence. Dr. Pantoja was born in Puerto Rico and despite her family's hardship, she was able to attend college. When she moved to New York City in 1994, she was concerned about the lack of education and opportunities for Latin youth. In 1961, she founded Aspira, which provided Latin education and support. Aspira chapters grew across the U.S. In 1974, Aspira's leadership and the Puerto Rican Legal Defense sued the New York City Board of Education, winning their demand for bilingual education in schools. Canisius College honors Dr. Lydia T. Wright. We draft Dr. Lydia T. Wright. The namesake of Buffalo's PS89, Dr. Lydia T. Wright School of Excellence. In 1952, Dr. Wright and her husband, Dr. Frank Evans, opened offices on Jefferson Avenue in Buffalo. She was the first African American woman to practice medicine in Buffalo. Specializing in pediatrics for 36 years. Dr. Wright broke other barriers in 1962, when she was the first African-American appointed to the Buffalo Board of Education. This portrait is adapted by Jillian Mullen from artist Idris Wajid, powerful mural on Buffalo's Freedom Wall. To all the sports professionals out there, I challenge you. I challenge you to wear our amazing women empowerment draft jerseys. Please wear our jerseys to honor those women that have not been represented as much as your names have probably been in the media. We draft Dr. Alice Holloway Young, namesake of Rochester School Number Three. Dr. Holloway Young was a pioneer for the Rochester City School District. She is one of the first African American teachers to be hired in 1952. She will lead the Rochester City School District as the district-wide reading specialist and was the first African American principal for the Rochester City School District. As the Title I director, she championed access and integration for students. In 1961, she was a founding trustee for Monroe Community College, serving as board chair for 20 years. The MCC internship program honors her name and continues her legacy. She is a living legend and attended our ribbon cutting ceremony on her 90th birthday on September 28th, 2022. Rochester Institute of Technology honors Cynthia Jenkins. We draft Cynthia Jenkins! 
namesake of Queens PS37 in Springfield Gardens, New York. Jenkins, a career librarian and a community activist, was the first African-American woman from Southeast Queens to serve in the New York State Assembly. Starting in 1983, she represented Queens 29th District for 12 years. As a librarian, she fought for public libraries and promoted literacy programs throughout the borough. She was an advocate for multiple community organizations and helped establish the State Veteran Home at St. Albans in Jamaica, New York. Alfred University honors Celia Cruz. We draft Celia Cruz. Namesake of the Bronx's Cecilia Cruz High School of Music. Cuban-American singer Celia Cruz was known as the Queen of Salsa, referencing to dance music that combines Afro-Cuban music with Caribbean style. She was already a star in Cuba, but moved to New York City in 1961 after the Cuban Revolution. She found international fame after joining the Dios Puente Orchestra in 1960. As a solo artist, she electrified audience with her wide range, soulful voice, rhythmically com compelling style, and extravagant passion for fashion. FIT honors Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. We draft Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Namesake for Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis High School for International Careers. While Jacqueline Kennedy was a trendsetter with her fashion choices, this bold decisiveness was also seen elsewhere. As an ambassador, she spoke French, Spanish, and Italian, bringing her goodwill and admiration around the world. As a supporter of the arts, she became the curator of the White House, hosting performing artists and reconceptualizing the physical interior space. To represent the history, telling an intentionally designed story to guests and tours. We draft Lorraine Hansberry, 1930 to 1965, namesake of Queens PS 118 and Bronx PS 214. Lorraine was the playwright of Raisin in the Sun, which was Broadway's first play written by an African-American woman. The play's name was inspired by Harlem, a poem by Langston Hughes. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Lorraine was a passionate and vocal fighter for civil rights, while also voicing support for lesbian and gay freedoms, women's rights, and independence for African countries under European colonization. We draft Betty Shavas, namesake of Brooklyn's PS 298. Betty and her husband, Malcolm X, had six daughters, including twins that were born after Malcolm's death. While being a widowed single parent, Betty returned to college and eventually received a PhD in education administration. She continued to lecture, addressing the topics of civil rights and tolerance. Attention all K through 12 schools around the country. We challenge you to make a post about a female empowerment icon. Please post and share about the Women's Empowerment Draft. The most creative tribute will win a $500 prize in art supplies. 500 in art supplies. Portland honors Beverly J. Martin. We draft Beverly J. Martin, namesake of Ithaca Beverly J. Martin Elementary School. Beverly's life was devoted to Ithaca, New York, and a student education for all. She attended the Ithaca City Schools and then Cornell, where she earned two degrees. She served the Central Elementary School, first as a teacher and then a principal. For 36 years of total service, she was a leading voice for equity and access in schools and a leader in the community through numerous local and national organizations. She was a influential mentor and role model for Ithaca educators and students. We Buffalo State College honor Marva J. Daniel. We draft Marva J. Daniel. Namesake of Buffalo's PS 37, Marva J. Daniel Futures Preparatory School. Marva's educational commitment to Buffalo gained her national attention and a trip to the White House. Marva attended Buffalo State College before returning to serve BTS communities. For her transformational work as a principal of Buffalo's Future Academy, she was awarded the Jefferson's Award in Education of, at the White House. An Administrator Award, Administrator of the Year by the Federation of School Administrators. Westchester Community College honors Jill Chaffetz. With the 28th pick, we draft Jill Chaffetz, 
namesake of Bronx's Joe Chaffetz Transfer High School. Joe was the executive director of Advocates for Children, a nonprofit legal group that improved access and quality of education for students in New York City. In 2003, Joe fought for students who were turned away from three schools due to their ages, poor grades, or poor attendance. Jill believed the schools were motivated by overall test scores rather than meeting the needs of individual students. The city agreed to take back the students and set more equitable standards. Niagara County Community College honors Dr. Blaniva Bond. He brought Blaniva Bond. In 2021, Niagara Falls City School District's Board of Education voted unanimously to rename Niagara Street Elementary School to Dr. Bond Primary School, effective September 1st, 2022. Bond was the first Niagara Falls School Board and was a past president of the Niagara Falls chapter of the NAACP. Bond was appointed by then Governor Nelson A. Rockefeller to both the State Health Council and the State Health Planning Commission. JCC honors Sandy Dowdy. We draft the Jason Sandy Dowdy. The names of the Haudenosaunee nations of Seneca, Cayuga, Onondaga, Oneida, Mohawk, and Tuscarora are often named as the New York State schools and towns. But no New York State school is named for a woman from an indigenous nation. Selmaker students honor educator Sandy Gadison Dowdy for her many years of teaching the Seneca language in public school, and for co-founding the Montessori-based Faith Keeper School, where young children learn language and tradition. JCC honors Marsha P. Johnson. With the 31st pick, we draft Marsha P. Johnson, 1945 to 1992, honored by Southwestern Central School District. As we end this year's draft, we reflect on a time when many schools were named for men and none for women. Valuing diverse voices, we welcome tributes of those not currently represented. Marsha P. Johnson was a leading activist for gay and transgender rights in New York City during and after the Sonora Riots of 1969. Marsha was a founding member of the Gay Liberation Front and co-founder of the radical activist group STAR with Sylvia Rivera. I hope that people who are seeing the draft, specifically young women and fine-bodied individuals, that they will be inspired by these amazing trailblazer women. There are women just like you out there who can do amazing things in trying to honor them do your part.